Hey guys, it's Kirsten. I wanted to do a follow-up with the last tutorial that I did about the glitches that had me literally going crazy. Um, we figured it out. Preferences, performance, whatever, the legacy brush. I don't even, the legacy check mark, whatever. I don't even know what that is, but it fixed the problem. So private message me if you don't know how to do that. Actually, it's in the comments of the glitchy tutorial that I did. However, do your updates because 99 percent of the rest of it is friggin' awesome. So I'm gonna, so I wanted to take out this handrail. So what I did was, actually, let me see if I can do the quick object selection tool. That might not be so easy, but let's just give this a try. Oh, holy crap, that's pretty good. Okay, then I'm gonna right click and just get the quick selection and hit the plus sign because it just missed a little tiny piece. Um, maybe down here. Okay, so I know, that's all right. So I know this isn't gonna be perfect, but like Unmish says, it gives you a place to start. So I'm pretty excited. So you're gonna go up to select, modify, and expand. We wanna expand, let's try five pixels. I don't know, maybe four. We don't need to go crazy. Okay, so that just gives a little bit on the outside so it knows what to pull in. Okay, so on my keyboard, it's backspace, but I think maybe on the Mac, it's delete. I'm not really sure, but on a PC, it's you hit backspace, content aware, normal, 100%. Cross your fingers, which helps, believe it or not, I hit okay. And then you can hit the lasso and just go like that. Okay, so that gives it a huge <laughs> starting point. Obviously, we got to touch up down here, but like compared to where we were, no big deal. So I'm going to hit the clone tool because I think it'll just be the quickest, even though I hate cloning, but it's fine. We're literally just dragging over the crack. Okay, um, this corner got a little wonky. So again, I feel like I'm just going to clone get the corner I wonder if I can keep going that looks pretty good I feel like I need to lower the opacity to 30 just to get that little light spot totally no big deal all right let's zoom out Okay, so the picture's a little bit crookered here. Actually, I'm gonna get that one more dark gray, a little bit distracting. And I'm at 30%. Oh, rookie mistake. Okay, hang on. There we go, just brighten up that stair. Okay, so crop. I crop at 11 by 15 because that's what Damien says to do. And I just blindly do what he tells me to. All right, we're gonna pull this down a little bit. I'm gonna use my vertical line here to tell me where to go. So the horizontal line of the stair looks good. The vertical line of the door looks good. Make sure content aware up here is checked because that was one of the most amazing things in like the update like two years ago. See if it does its magic over here with all these, all the siding. All right, little funky something going on down there. So let's get the clone, no big deal. Pull that over. I might actually just get rid of that altogether. Um, I'm going to use the little band-aid to get rid of the rep repetitive clone giveaway nonsense. Honestly, with a you know beautiful dancer kicking, no one's going to be looking at this, this crap anyway. I don't even need to go this berserk, but we're here, so why not? 
So the mom was telling me, this was my dance little mini session day. Um, her session was done, her little 15 minute session. And then the mom's like, oh, you know, the church across the street, we've taken a picture of her in front of every year for, you know, 10 years or whatever, 12 years, I think she's been dancing. Um, so I was like, oh, let me grab one with my camera. And uh, that's what it that's what it is. Anyway, so content aware. It's pretty awesome. 